Welcome to this course for creating an adapter method. We are on the adapter landing page and we have a sample adapter pre-built. Let me go inside the sample adapter. This is the sample adapter summary page where we have all the details for the basic details. We have the authentication details, security rules if any, and the adapter code. See under the adapter code section, click on the edit button. So this is where we define all our adapter methods. Currently we already have two methods on my left, get my subscription get orders we can add a new one more so click on this button add new method so it creates this new method you can select which type of method this is command post request query for uh, get request and private for any internal methods and define a key that should needs to be unique so a unique key or a, a unique method Method name that can be get customer. And some description. So you also add some details where you put the input parameters. So for example, for get customer, uh, maybe I'll require the customer ID. Parameter name will be customer ID. The field type can be string. Uh, similarly, input schema is what we define what the request is going to be, uh, the request body. Uh, then the code, this is where we write uh, our custom node code. Um, and you can define uh, your add uh, some node.js code over here. And then the output schema. Then the output schema, what the output is going to be, and then you can test the method. So we already have a get my subscription. Um, so we have the basic method information. We have some input parameters, input schema, and custom code. It's, I think it's calling the uh, utilities from the base URL. So where is this base URL? So we define it in the global parameters. So we can define. Uh, some global parameters which can be used across methods. Uh, you can use dollar and braces. You can use the base URL and then some logic over here. And then this will return some us uh, some data. So we can test this method. Let's connect to the platform. So since we are using the Avlar identity, it did not ask for any authentication. Or it will ask you for some authentication. I'll just test this method. It gave me some result with so this is how you can test the adapter method that you have created thank you